Hey, what is up guys, it's Other Bell here, and today we're going to be taking a look at everything that's new in iOS 12. So first let's start off with the fact that this is not a major redesign to iOS, but more of a speed improvement. So yeah, so with speed you get 70% faster access to the camera from the lock screen, 50% keep faster access to the keyboard uh, when it comes up on the display, and you get two times faster access to your apps under a heavy workload, which is pretty fast and much faster compared to iOS 11. So another new feature of iOS 12 is Memoji. So you might have heard about N emojis, which are these talking emojis that can be controlled by your face. So we got those with the iPhone 10. But with Memoji, you can create an N emoji for yourself, which is pretty cool. While we're on the topic of augmented reality, let's talk about all the improvements that it got in iOS 12. So you can have multi-user support, so you can play games with your friends using augmented reality. I think it got vertical support, and um, with augmented reality now, there's this new measure app in iOS 12. So you can use it to measure distances and stuff like that, and you can find lengths, widths, and measurements of everything using the measure app in iOS 12, which is pretty cool. So Siri also got better in iOS 12. You now have something called Siri shortcuts, which you can customize in settings. You can make a shortcut for Siri, and then you can use it to control third-party apps. So let's say I wake up in the morning, and I tell Siri whatever I wanted to say. Then it would do a, step, uh, a bunch of steps in the process. So it, it could like order me a Starbucks something from their um, third-party app, or something like that. And it could do turn on the fan, turn on the lights, and yeah, different things. So you can make your own Siri shortcuts now. So in iOS 12, we also got a new Apple Books app, which is replacing iBooks. And we got a new redesigned Stocks app, which shows you a lot more information. And we have gotten a new redesigned News app. So, well, redesigned navigation. It's not completely redesigned, but it shows you more of what you like in the News app. So something we've been asking Apple to do for a long time is group FaceTime, and we're finally getting it in iOS 12. So a group FaceTime, you can now FaceTime with up to 32 people, which is awesome. And you might be wondering, how do you handle all of this? Well, the people that are talking will get, then be enlarged, so you can focus on them. And yeah, so it's, it's really well handled. And I'll leave a link down in the description to Apple's iOS 12 page, so you can learn more about it. Another thing we've been asking Apple to do for a long time is group notifications, and we're finally getting that as well. So with group notifications, all notifications from one app will be grouped. So let's say I get a bunch of notifications from messages. It won't all be in that one place. It'll all be grouped in a little thing and you can tap on it and enlarge. And if you want to hide them, you can hide them, you can turn them off and you can deliver quietly. All from there and you don't even have to go into settings to do that, which is pretty cool. So you might be wondering if your device is compatible with iOS 12. And if it was compatible with iOS 11, it's compatible with iOS 12. And we weren't expecting that at all, and I think it's really awesome that Apple did that. So it goes all the way from the iPhone 10 to the iPad Air. And I'll leave all the list of all the devices on screen right now, so you can check if your device is compatible. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.